Alrighty. We have Cloudburst fighting against the legendary, the one, the only, Britain. So, you guys have played before, they're actually pretty even. Um, I'd say overall Cloud has like more potential to do well, but Kitten has definitely studied this matchup, he understands it. More so than a lot of people do, I feel like. And he's actually been taking, getting a lot of advice from Kyle Realm. You can see that right now in his movement. You see a lot of magnets. Um, a lot of fancy stuff. Ooh, a nice withdrawal. Okay. Smartly doing that up the on stage. Not really, I don't know. He, maybe if he was a little more confident, he could have sweet spotted, but that definitely would have been risky, so I don't blame him. The trick to doing um, mess up B is that you want to recover on stage. You have a lot less landing lag if when you finish it, you're actually on the ground versus finishing it while in the air. In the air, I know it's 20 frames. On the ground, it's, I don't know, it's a little bit. Not too much, not too little. Uh, ooh, nice pivot grab from Cloud here. And we saw him go for the... Uh, some of that fits still off the ledge, but he's trying to do it again, but grabs the ledge. As bad as Squiddle's tech rolls are, they're still, we still have a little room to mix up. And if we're all the way away like that, generally just be, or tech rolling away is just the best option, because they won't be able to uh, catch up. So this isn't an unsurmountable comeback, just because of the way Ness works as a character, he's able to get a lot of damage off of good confirms. So I want to see like a nice grab into down air, or I want to see him pull out some of that magnet stuff, caliber up. Yeah, like that. There we go. Nice stuff by Kitten, actually. Wow, actually killing with that up there. characters have a very bad Mac Mark matchup, but we'll see. Oh. You know, that, that uh, re-grab, like, grab with this re-grab is actually not awful if you know what they're going to do. I, if you just want to do pummel pummel into the grab release thing, that's a really good situation if you have a kill throw, and you're trying to send them more towards one side of the stage. I don't know. I've, I've seen people do it before. It's pretty useful. But it, it's definitely a very hard read, not something you want to do a lot. Ooh, really good space in avoiding that level there, getting the uh, double jump cancel back air. Ness, of course, able to use his double jump to let you aerials really low to the ground because of the way it works. Good SDI. Here we go, so you can see the Cloud definitely knows the matchup these guys play quite a bit. The SDI, the fire, crash cancel, the dash attack. Basically preventing Ness from getting started. Cloud needs to speed spot this. Oh, that platform, okay. Set back to neutral. Cloud with a pretty decent lead, but nothing too big. That's not gonna be it, but it will set up a really nice upgrade situation. Yeah. 
Get rid of that sheep there. So we have game two. Uh, you can see <laughs> Squirtle player smiling, the Nest player looking kind of upset. We're going right to Sky. Okay. Um, Sky World. It's really big. I, I'm not really sure how this affects the matchup. Well, it, it deprives Squirtle of any wall jump, wall hugging sort of situations. Um, but it also makes it really hard for Ness to recover. Not that that's why he just says D, but that is a thing that happens. Ooh, magnet to catch all those different SDI variations. He magneted right inside the fire, so that wherever Squirtle SDI'd, he would still get caught by the uh, very large hitboxes of the magnet. Uh, Nate Senpai, you're in the chat. Why would a why would a Ness go to Skyrim? So I'm not. I don't really see it. Using the armor on that down smash to just uh, hydroplane up in there. Spin. Spin to win. So we see both players just sort of spacing out. We see Cloud going for a lot of aerial bubble approaches, trying to catch um, Kitten on the ground. That was... that was a good idea. He just went out a little too early for that game. Ooh, catch him dead with that PK fire. The armor armor is knockback dependent, so the higher percent you are, the less knockback is going to work. Or the less the armor will work, rather. And I am thankfully joined by Finger of Stripes, who just finished his match and is now free to common... Okay, nope. Oh, he's walking off. Okay. Cause I, I feel like both of these characters have similar issues when it comes to killing. They both have one kill throw. Other than that, not great options. I think just the lack of walls makes it... means you have to be a lot more precise with your upbeat recovery. I just really don't know what Ness is going to get out of this. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know you do. Are Mr. and Tommy playing? Okay, cool. What up, guys? Finger stripes here. Finger stripes. Finger, finger stripes. Finger stripes. Zeta, man. What up? <laughs> Zed, How's man. this game been going? Uh, what's this? Is it? It's, zero, it's not zero, uh, zero. Oh no, it's not. Um, Kitten has SD twice. Last game okay. was really, really convincing. And you could see Kitten's movement, like you could see that he's been practicing a lot of magnet stuff. Yeah. Is it a little rocky right now because he's... Um, game one didn't look too rocky. Okay. Uh, no, he SD'd like 10 seconds in. Oh. And then he SD'd on his third stock as oh, well. Oh, man. If I wasn't a gentleman, he took that. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, oh, that air rest. Oh, that's it. Yeah, All that's right, it. well, I got to play the loser of this one. Uh, save that for stream. Save it for stream? 